afternoon. Uh, my name is Irene Arbitalas. Uh, I'm I'm a food technologist and I graduated from UP Visayas in 2020. Um, I also took uh, education unit. That's why I am now in the academe. I'm a faculty of UP Visayas and I I recently completed my PhD in educational leadership at uh, University of Saint Lazaro College. So I've been a consultant for almost five years from uh, from since 2016 and uh, I enjoyed really my time in DOSP for uh, being able to help the beneficiaries for the food safety consultancy program. Hi, I'm Marielle Grace Ketungay. So I, I am the operations head of GNG Foods. Um, I am the do daughter of the owner. Um, actually, GNG Foods uh, was established on 2009 at Barangay Kanhawa, Nueva Valencia, Guimaras by two sisters, Grace and Hilden. So this uh, project or the business um, is located in Barangay Kanhawan, as I have said. And this was the product of a livelihood program by the province of Guimaras after the oil spill in 2006. So our main and first product is the ginger tea or the instant salabat, which is commonly known. And later on, we have additional products like turmeric tea and other mixed teas. Presently, we have distributed our products in Bimaras, in Iloilo, Antique, and some parts of Negros. Uh, perhaps uh, for my five years of experience as food consultant in, in the OSP, and uh, I've been uh, assisting more than 15 um, food establishments uh, in Negros, Occidental, Iloilo City, and even in Guimaras. Food safety is helping our micro, small, and medium enterprises uh, improve their practices and even uh, move to higher level in such a way that they become uh, competent with other existing products in the market, not only in the Philippines, but even uh, food products worldwide. Um, for us, since we are involved in the manufacturing process um, and we are processing our products, we need to ensure to our customers that the products we are producing is safe for their consumption. This would also help us eliminate um, complaints from them. We don't want our customers to file any complaints yes. regarding, especially regarding or directly associated with food safety. So it's part also of the program uh, where uh, food establishments and even food handlers are trained in food safety practices and it aims to at least improve the practices that they have to ensure uh, food, uh, safe food products and at the same time to ensure that there will be no customers who will complain uh, about the food products that they have taken from from a small or micro enterprise, food enterprises that they have bought it from. So basically, uh, when we talk about food safety, we really wanted to uh, ensure that our customers will not uh, will not be harmed by the products which are bought from small, micro, and uh, even uh, medium enterprises. For the MSMEs that I have assisted for the past five years, as I have said earlier, I've been a consultant in Negros, in Guimaras, and even in Iloilo City. Um, I've been assisting those uh, food manufacturing uh, companies which are producing, uh, for example, we have mushrooms. I also have assisted uh, those uh, companies who are also producing fried products such as kamosa chips. I also have assisted uh, companies that produces meat products. And I also uh, assisted and helped in uh, 
food uh, enterprises which produces also like salabat, like GNG, and at the same time cake products. And uh, for now, I'm engaged, still engaged in consultancy program to food manufacturers who are developing uh, peanut butters, who are also de developing uh, chili garlic, something like that. So perhaps uh, varied products have made uh, the food consultancy program become very available to everyone. And uh, the small, the micro, small and medium enterprises have been given so much opportunities for them to grab from the Department of Science and Technology. UST and GNP Foods were partners for a long time. Na. So usually when there are product or services or projects that UST have, usually they text us, call us, or even send, send us uh, email invites. So, for example, there are available products, uh, services that DOSD have. Um, our partners in DOSD Vimaras will send us email invite and uh, ask us if we are willing to participate in the project. DOSD came to our place and they have several lined up projects and if they asked us if they, we want to be part of it. So we grabbed the opportunity since they are very approachable and um, willing to help us improve the quality of the products that we have. We have several projects from the USD. We acquired two set of projects from them. Um, one is around 2014 and the other one is around 2017. So this project, uh, the setup is a small enterprise technology upgrading program that they have we have acquired several equipments like our juicer extractor, our tables, the stainless steel tables, and for the second project, we acquired the form peel um, packaging material for our sachets. So, also, we have the project with Mom Irene just last June 2020, that was the pandemic time. And currently, we have uh, also this project for the improvement of the packaging materials that we have. So we started perhaps June 2020. So it was pandemic actually, and it was really hard for us to cross Gimaras. <laughs> but uh, I really tried my best to have our first meeting face to face because I wanted to meet and of course I wanted to really assess what uh, what the company is and at the same time I really wanted to know what are the difficulties that they are having and what are the needs that they uh, that they would uh, opt to for the for the year actually and uh, so the first meeting was really fun because although there was no production actually, so, but we have a lot of conversations with her mom and her tita. And of course, Miss Marielle was also there. And we enjoyed really chatting about the product, what are the needs of the company, and at the same time, uh, how are they doing with their application for the FDA license. So, actually, the company is really lucky because they have Miss Marielle, because Miss Marielle has already a background of. Uh, food processing and food technology and at the same time food safety because she's a chemical engineer. So it's very uh, advantageous for the company, for example, for just layouting the processing, for example, where to peel, where you're going to slice, where you're going to juice, where you're going to dry the product. So it's very helpful that uh, GNG has its own technical kumbaga, assistant. Na. <laughs> so te technical assistant to uh, the production at the same time in the food safety as well. And uh, actually, we didn't have a hard time in terms of uh, implementing the recommendations because GNG is very active in uh, following whatever it is that the consultant is trying to uh, suggest to the company. So, for example, uh, in our first visit last June 2020, there was no hand washing facility outside the premises. So, we suggested that uh, maybe you could put 
a dishwashing facility or a hand washing facility outside so that uh, the employees can wash their hands first before they get into the processing area. And then like a month later, we visited uh, GNG again. There, there was the, the, the hand washing area. So perhaps one of the reasons why I love GNG is because of their commitment to follow what is recommended by the consultant based, of course, on food safety standards. So uh, during the time, we were actually uh, engaging with Miss Marielle and we were asking her about what are the difficulties that she has or what are the lacking requirements that she has or the company has for the FDA registration, LTO registration. And then we, uh, we had actually a uh, except for our face-to-face -face conversations, we had chats, we had uh, text messages no, for, uh, to somehow facilitate what's the need of GNG and how, how am I, go um, how am I uh, capable to help them and what can the USD offer to help them for the FDA LTO registration. Actually, during that pandemic, we have to close uh, for two months in the operation. That was around March and April because there was a border restriction of the raw products. Our, product, our raw products or our raw materials come from Negros. So it is very hard for us to transport the raw materials. So aside from that, during it was a blessing in disguise actually that the consultancy um, service of my Irene uh, for the DOST for the application of our, of our FDA because we applied our application of the FDA. Um, our e-portal was opened on April. Coincidentally, on June, we have Ma'am Irene. So it was a smooth sailing, although there are challenges, but it was still smooth sailing. Um, because uh, aside from her presence, we also have other partners. So um, during the application time, um, other requirements, especially the physical structure of the, of the plan and the documentary, that was the also challenging part for us because there was very limited documentation of our products that time. So with the help of Mam we were able to overcome those challenges and have a successful FDA registration. One of the challenges actually uh, we also had was when uh, we were waiting for the results of the analysis because there was a deadline set by the FDA for the results of the analysis. FDA is also very um, considerate for the timeline. Uh, uh, I am asking them, Mom, can you give us another um, month, uh, another week to extend? Uh, and they said, uh, okay, let's do it. <laughs> so that's how we were able to have a successful uh, FDA LTO So uh, for a successful FDA LTO registration amid the pandemic. So actually I have written an article for the DOSC1 experts uh, this was entitled the three C's for a successful FDA LTO registration amid COVID-19 pandemic. So one of, uh, three of the highlights of my article was uh, what should be there to the client and the consultant during this time of the pandemic when uh, the client is applying for FDA LTO registration. So the first one is uh, there should be commitment. So one of the first things that uh, the, the client and the uh, consultant should consider would be commitment. Because once you as a consultant failed to uh, convince the, the client to be committed to the program, especially that during the second visit or during the results of the assessment, uh, I know that not only GNG will be overwhelmed with the task that they're going to do, but perhaps all of the all of the clients that I had, you know, when you are presenting the recommendations, when you are presenting the results of the GMP assessment report. So it was most challenging. So it has to have commitment between the two. So commitment between the consultant and the client. Because, for example, if the client 
uh, if you as a consultant would fail to have or to convince the the client to be committed to the program, definitely there will be a failure in the program and uh, everything will will come out in, in such a way that there would be no improvement and that the objectives and uh, the rationale of the program cannot be materialized or realized. Second C for, uh, for this specific question is we need to have connectivity. So perhaps this would not be uh, limited only to the technical connectivity, but as well as a relationship. So you need to build a relationship of trust to your client. So because if your client don't trust you, definitely they would not be able to follow what you are recommending for them. And perhaps it's a very critical uh, role of the consultant to, to have that trust from the, from the client in the first meeting, in the second meeting, especially that there is a pandemic. So there, uh, there was actually a limited face-to-face -face interaction with them. So we had two visits. Uh, actually, we had three visits with them face to face. But it was actually a very, a very risky move, no, from me as a consultant because I really wanted to have a face to face interaction with them. So uh, that's the second. We have connectivity, so it's very important. Perhaps connectivity have also uh, uh, build our relationship because definitely I am a user of uh, the product of GNG and I love the product myself and. And it also keeps you uh, safe as a consultant. If you are uh, trying to market the product for them, it's because you know that this is the this is what GNG is. You know how the product is processed. You know how the raw materials are attained, and you know that they are FDA LTO registered. So definitely, it's one of the most important thing that we build connectivity. So, and uh, trust is very important for that part. And the third C that I, I was trying to uh, write on my article is we need to have, uh, we, need, we need to converge with our client. So as a consultant of DOSP and as a client, a private uh, organization or a private company maybe, uh, we need to have at least a parallel perspective or parallel direction so that we would be able to attain what really is uh, that we want for the program, what really is uh, that we want for the company to be improved. And definitely that would help us in uh, developing or improving more, not only on the food safety practices, but uh, uh, in the aspect of client to consultant relationship as well. So that's... Uh, commitment, then uh, connectivity and convergence. I'll just add another C. <laughs> that is constant, not only communication, but constant communication. Um, there was a border control so or border restriction, so Mama Irene could not come to us and give us the advices face to face. So she had to, go to, uh, to convey to us her messages through texts and uh, calls and we also have Zoom meetings. So what we did, um, actually our barangay has no internet connection or very, very low signal connection. So what we did, um, I am staying at another barangay so that we could call or text. And uh, um, I am very thankful for Mama Irene because she is very approachable and kind. I will send her text, Mama Irene, um, paano po gawin to? Mama Irene, yung test po ba available na? <laughs> Ganun yung ginagawa ko. So, pero Mama Irene is very responsive to our questions and um, very um, kind to answer them. <laughs>
what do they need and then uh, as a consultant you can kumbaga, you can align yourself okay they need food safety assistance so uh, maybe I could help them so definitely that's one of the reasons why we are existing we are existing that the client the food safety consultancy program are existing it's because of one expert so basically through one expert we would be able to uh, expand the services that we have and at the same time expand the the companies and the msmes that we can help um, actually it's very great very helpful uh, to us the consultancy because it is very uh, relevant during that time and also um, the consultancy it serves as like an internal audit because um, our, um, the uh, list of uh, for improvements list of items for improvements were laid down so we just need to follow the advice of mom Irene although she said a while ago that it was quite overwhelming but we tried our best to um, overcome it and do what she recommends. There are a few points that we missed, but still we succeeded on that one. For our for my fellow MSMEs, um, so what I can say is let us avail the projects from the DOST because number one, it is free. You just need to cooperate. That's what you need. After the consultancy, you will see the growth of the company from before and after. There is a great change because of that program. So that's all.